this tutorial covers how to uninstall and reinstall your video codecs on your simulator. In the case that you have installed some new MP4 ride films and you have verified the settings in FFD show are correct, uh, yet your rides will still not play, or maybe you do not have FFD show installed. Uh, first thing, you're going to want to close your control and close any other open programs. Um, we're going to want to go to the control panel. On Windows 7, you can simply click on the start menu and choose the control panel option. On Windows 10, you're going to right click and you're going to go control panel. Once your control panel opens up, uh, it should look like this. If you do not see all of these icons, go ahead over to your view here and change the view to large icon view. Uh, we're then going to go into uh, programs and features. On your system it may be called programs and features or it may be called add remove programs. Either way the box should come up like this. Um, we're going to go down through and we're going to first want to remove any existing codec packs. Depending on the age of your system, you may have a codec pack called ACE Mega Pack. If you do, it, this will be arranged alphabetically. You can select ACE and choose to uninstall it. Um, we're also going to go, after we finish that uninstall, we're going to go down here and we're going to look for if we have a FFD show installed. Um, if you're on a Windows 10 system, it may or may not show FFD show as installed. If you're on Windows 7, it should show it as installed. You can select it and hit uninstall. Um, then we're also going to locate this Holly Media Splitter and hit uninstall. We'll go ahead and go through this installation because it shows up on my system. All right. Once we're finished, we're going to go ahead and restart our system. When our system comes back up, again, we're going to close any programs that are open, any control. We're going to unlock Pulse Lock, and we're going to get back to our desktop. We will want to copy from our flash drive our codex zip file. Uh, go ahead and just copy it onto your desktop. Um, this codex zip file should be provided in your, uh, in your upgrade directory on our FTP server. Um, if this codex pack is not included there, go ahead and contact me or tech support and we'll send that out. Um, you're going to go ahead and open up this zip file now. Uh, from this zip file, you're going to want to pull both of these programs out and just go ahead and pull them onto the desktop to extract them. So we'll pull this Matroska splitter and we'll pull this FFD show installer. All right now we have those, we can go ahead and close our zip file. Um, so we're going to want to go ahead and install FFD show first. So we're going to run this. Uh, we'll select English. We'll select Next. And we will Next. And now under Direct Show, we don't need to change any of this. We'll go ahead and Next. And Next. Uh, for video formats, we can go ahead and set these settings now, and then we don't have to adjust them later. So we want to make sure that this H.264 is checked with the LiveAV codec, this generic MPEG-4, uh, DivX and XVID. Um, we're also going to want to go ahead and set MPEG-2, and we're going to set that to LiveAV codec. That should be good here. Now we're going to go ahead and next. Um, if on most of your machines you will have stereo setups, and this 2.0 stereo is fine, if you know that you have a 5.1 surround sound setup on your machine, you can go ahead and choose 5.1. Um, if not, we can also we can always adjust that later, and we will likely have to on your 5.1 machines. So go ahead and hit next, and then install. We're gonna go ahead and let this finish installing. Um, we're gonna finish, and now we're going to install this Matroska splitter. So we double click to run this. We hit I agree, next next, and next. We don't have to change anything. I'm going to close that. All right. Now, any of you that are for sure that you have a 5.1 system, we will go ahead and set your 5.1 sound output. If you're unsure of if you have a 5.1 system or not, please do not make this change. Go ahead and test your rides 
and then if you need to go back and rewatch the video and make the 5.1 adjustment, you can. So to make your 5.1 adjustment, we're going to go to our start menu, and we're going to, uh, if you're on Windows 7, you'll have to do all programs, and then we're going to go down and we're going to find FFD Show, which is here. We're going to pull up our audio decoder configuration. Um, now we're going to want to scroll down here. We're going to untick this mixer, and then we're going to go and tick output. And then on output, we're going to want to turn on all of this SPDIF pass-through. All of these guys, go ahead and toggle them on. Um, my system is not 5.1, so I'm going to untoggle them. Once you toggle all those things on, we're also going to want to toggle over here Dolby Decoder, which is Apply Dolby Pro Logis to Stereo Streams. Then we're going to want to hit Apply and OK to close. Now go ahead and restart your system and test your new rides. Um, make sure you test your audio and video. If you are having any issues after that, um, go ahead and note the issues, whether it's video playback or audio playback, and then go ahead and call tech support and we will continue to help you.